Hi Capricorns, how are you guys? Welcome to the channel. Thank you guys for your patience. Thank you guys for waiting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the family. If you guys are returning, welcome back. Capricorn, keep in mind that this reading is general, okay? So it may not resonate for every one of you, but it actually won't resonate for all of you guys, okay? Um, please take what resonates and leave the rest. Please don't try to make it fit. If it's not your story, you will know. If it's confusing to you, you will know. If it, if 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 you feel it in your solar plexus, if you feel it everywhere, there's a message for you here. Okay. If you were drawn to the title, there might be a message here for you. Cross watchers, that could be in your energy and speaking directly to you. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, okay. Um, and this is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to just see what's going on with you general right now. I don't have really a direction. And then um, maybe I'll ask. If, if, it, if love shows up, it shows up great. If not, then I will um, get a little bit more specifics regarding your love life. Okay? I'm going to try not to make this reading so long because I want to get other the, the other signs done as well. You guys, please don't forget to click like, share, and subscribe so the message can reach other people and to help the channel to grow. Thank you guys for your donations. Thank you guys for um, the information to that is also in the description box below. Thank you guys for scheduling personal readings with me. The um, email to email me to schedule your session is in the description box below. Thank you guys for following me on Instagram at infinite underscore love 1111. I post re different readings there on a regular basis and guidance from spirit and channel messages as well. I post a lot there, okay? So every day, <laughs> every day I post a channeled message there and I do little mini readings there as well. So definitely, you know, if you resonate with my energy, um, you definitely also receive downloads and messages for you on Instagram as well. And you guys can DM me if you want to schedule an appointment or email me. Thank you guys again for everything. All right, let's get started. I'm going to tap into your energy. <clears throat> So throat chakra, Capricorn. <laughs> I, I, my chakras are all cleared and balanced. So if I'm going, if my throat is locking up here, then it's a message for you guys that um, you you might need to do some work on your throat chakra. You may be holding back. There might be something that you want to talk about with someone. Okay, <clears throat> and um, but you're not saying it. Some suppression of emotions, even. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Let me connect. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, we have pros Prosperity Begins. That's the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So you have a brand new beginning. Uh, 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 a, a helping hand from the universe here regarding laying some strong foundations for yourself. This uh, Ace of Pentacles takes a long time to come in and manifest. And it is the cornerstone of the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So whatever this new beginning is in the tangible, it could be a new job, new uh, 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 a overflow of money um it could be an inheritance it could be a new car a new house whatever this is spirit wants you to build upon it to create okay so to take it from the universe the opportunity don't miss out on it and um, build upon it <clears throat> nurture it take care of it all right spirit for capricorn you have a new opportunity, a Capricorn, for a new beginning here in the physical world. Ace of Pentacles, where prosperity is going to start coming in for you now on a regular basis, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit, and so it is, and so it is, and so it is. All right, <clears throat> Capricorn, Spirit, what message do you have here for Capricorn? Some emotional loss. So, 
This is the Five of Cups, Capricorn. So there is um, a little bit of uh, heart and sacral chakra blockage here that needs to be healed, okay? So he's holding his heart and it's orange. So it's also sacral chakra, the I feel chakra. Uh, that's the chakra that we carry a lot of our shame, guilt, regret, addictions and codependencies, things like that, Ch um, childhood, you know, woundings even. Um, it's the I feel chakra. It's the water element chakra. It's your uh, the chakra of your emotions, okay? And then sh and then the heart chakra here, which is um, your your uh, where we hold hold a lot of pain. So there was a loss here that you're. I'm so sorry um, if you guys lost a, a this, somebody in your life, this deceased loved one. I'm sorry for your loss and sending you my condolences. But this really is about. Um, holding on to um a pain right that 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 this could be past energy okay or this could be uh, something that you're working on healing right now as we speak okay so this is some kind of re emotion a regret from a, a loss it could be something you may have done in the past or this could be somebody in your energy that feels this way that hurt you and they are in regret right now for hurting you okay um so normally when the other decks there's two cups standing behind a person that's um bent over and and crying in the pool of, of sorrow and victim mindset and negativity right and um gr going through all the stages of grief but what they don't realize is that if they turn around that they're gonna see that there's two cups still standing there's hope there's an opportunity see the sun is coming out here behind you there is uh, hope, there's help from spirit, God, source, the universe, whoever you pray to, um, the universe, right? This to me is um, a lesson, okay? A lesson. Yes, it says loss, but for me, I look at losses as lessons, an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to learn, okay? An opportunity to ascend and evolve. So to choose better next time, choose wisely, right? Somebody probably made a very of the wrong choice, a poor choice here, okay? Somebody's wishing they could have done something differently here is what I'm getting. They could have chosen better, chosen differently for themselves. What else here for Capricorn spirit? Message here for Capricorn. What else? Transformation, wow, beautiful. Death card, yeah, that was definitely an ending here. Probably to a marriage or a home or something, a solid connection, foundation, stability you had with someone. Um, but yes, um, transformation is a death card. So this is about clearly a, a, a loss and ending that actually um, awakened you, that actually transformed you. A, a, a loss that was so severe, so painful, so so much grief so much this despair that it actually like shoved you straight into the dark night of the soul your spiritual awakening your death and your rebirth phase so obviously and clearly it needed to happen because this this love or this loss transformed you again it was necessary for the emotional growth the healing that took place okay it was it had to happen for your transformation so it happened for you not to you so definitely process your emotions, go through all the stages of grief. And we have here two fours as well. So four, four, go through all this and five represents change. Go through all the stages of grief. We don't sit there, we transmute the energy. So that's transforming your pain into power. Now you can rebuild a strong and solid foundation. After you went through this transformation, we saw that, that Ace of Pentacles, which is a brand new beginning, right? After every ending, there is always a new beginning, okay? So definitely honor your emotions. Don't do anything to distract yourself, to numb yourself. Don't do anything to... Um, you know, um, escape or avoid, okay? The temptation will be there to do that. Don't take it because you're supposed to feel it to heal it. What else here for Capricorn? Spirit. Emotional loss that led to a transformation here. What else for Capricorn? Wow, 
awakening exactly crown chakra epiphanies aha moments connection to the divine we have the empress here the divine feminine fertility like i said this loss has really woken you up is what is 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 the the message here right crown chakra is you know when it's blocked there's depression right there's depression there is um a rigid in the box one way of thinking right uh, belief systems being very blocked um struggle to have faith right very hard connecting with spirit the divine source the universe not in alignment with the universe and whatever loss that you experience here basically also if you are going through an awakening a transformation there will be a lot of loss that's connected to it as well and you are it looks to me like you are going through a spiritual awakening here or needs to surrender to the spiritual awakening for growth for growth the empress fertility some of you guys may have lost a mother figure that's the case i'm sorry to hear that for others of you guys it may have may might, may have been married and lost uh you know went through a divorce right um might have lost a child the empress um so i'm also i just got also that um uh, this loss, this emotional loss has awakened you and transformed you and, uh, and, um, woken you up to your divinity. Basically you're rising from the ashes of the Phoenix in divine feminine energy, which is Empress energy of nurturing, loving. So basically you, it going from ego and pride to unconditional love which is the empress energy she's all four queens in one so massive transformation and awakening here okay some of you guys may be getting con connected and, and contacted from a deceased loved one that's a mother figure or a grandmother figure and in, in the spirit realm okay they might be trying to communicate with you through your crown chakra um through dreams right um the high, high, your higher self, the crown chakra is your higher self. And like I said, when it's blocked, it's very hard for you to, for you to, um, you feel stuck, right? It's very hard for you to break free from this in the box way of thinking, you know? And I feel like you're waking up to your true authentic self and, um, the, the veil has lifted. The rose colored glasses is gone. You're seeing everything for what it is right now, very clearly. There's some kind of discovery that, that went down. You probably got some messages in your crown chakra, downloads, channel messages here. This is great, right? But let's see where you are here with this. A positive movement forward and wisdom. You gained a lot of wisdom here. Like I said, throat chakra earlier. It's time to speak your truth. Communication is the key here. Okay, and that's going to really help you to move forward. You gained a lot of wisdom and been very patient, temperance energy, a lot of healing, a lot of balance. Wisdom is the higher font, which is, um, you know, the marriage card, traditions, commitments, right? Higher self, higher learning, higher knowledge. So, um, been very committed to your studies of what I'm getting, learning a lot, spiritual truths here. Like I said, waking up to your spirituality. And when you, once you finally um, speak up, right, step into your willpower, knowing that you have a choice, you're in your free will energy to stand up for yourself and speak your truth. Eight, eight, one, eight, somebody wants to come in and talk to you. Either you want to talk to somebody or somebody wants to talk to you. Um, positive movement forward here. This, this is the, the, I believe this is the eight of pentacles right because or eight of wands no it's pentacles the red is pentacles the wands is purple here so um so it's eight of, so this is the eight of pentacles here okay so you're working really hard focused determined dedicated right it's very disciplined here on um you want to move forward pause you want you want positive movement forward in your life but i feel like this is you coming out i've this this isn't swords energy, right? But 
The Six of Swords is, is that boat that's coming out of choppy waters and going in towards the sun, coming out of depression and going towards the sun. That's what I'm seeing here for you guys, right? And throat chakra is highlighted from the beginning of the reading that I said that there is a throat chakra. Um, somebody needs to speak. So, wow, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Spirit, emotional loss here for Capricorn. Please clarify this. You guys could be dealing with uh, Scorpio. We have two Scorpio energies here. And then we have Taurus here and Libra. What else? Aries here for crown chakra. Aries rules the crown chakra. You could have that in your chart. Spirit. Emotional loss. Emotional loss that led to a wonderful period of transformation, spiritual awakening, and a lot of growth. Coming com into coming into wholeness, into your complete self here, mind, body, and soul, and spirit, right? See, heart chakra healing activated here for unconditional love, which is the empress, right? Mother healing is available at this time. For you, we are still in cancer season. So, um... Wow, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Okay, emotional loss for Capricorn spirit. It's a lot of changes. It's like taking off the mask of your old self, your old identity, and stepping into your full power here as, as the Empress. For the masculines, you could be healing the divine feminine energy within you, right? But you may also um, be... For, for the masculines, you may have w woken up because of a loss. You may have woken up to possibly your true feelings for somebody here after losing them. Discovering that they, um, from my feminines, th th I'm getting a lot of scenarios here. So please take what resonate from my feminines. You could be dealing with the masculine that, that after losing you went through a massive transformation a spiritual awakening here and now sees you as their everything their empress right their one and only the, the the queen of all queens all four queens in one the divine feminine the goddess no one compares to the empress right um she is the mother of the tarot so <laughs> the goddess of all beautiful abundant creative right everything the empress touches turns to gold everything that's given to her she multiplies it she only operates from a place of nurturing love self-care beauty luxury um fertility she's very fertile very fertile she's always creating giving birth to new ideas right she's uh, extremely creative and and only comes from a place of compassion and unconditional love so um very healthy energy here so whoever is in this empress energy this is if you went through this pain this is why so you can rise for your growth for your abundance for your evolution here okay so congratulations for that right so let's see here emotional loss for capricorn Yeah, this is a masculine energy that feels this way. Somebody that has fire in their chart. Or you are, are going through an emotional loss, uh, a heartbreak um, from a fire sign here. Um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. It doesn't have to be. It's just somebody may have been a player. Knight of Wands. Right? In and out. In and out not consistent energy, have multiple people in their back pockets. You may have carried the whole relationship on your back, right? No equal give and take, no reciprocity. Somebody extremely selfish, self-centered, arrogant, cocky, um, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, right? So let's not keep dwelling on it. It's somebody that, well, this person is feeling regret here. They may have gone through some kind of ascension from a knight to a king, okay? May have been working on changing their behavior with a transformation card or you, okay? 
Um, yeah, this is somebody that you have a very strong magnetic connection to. Chemistry is really fire, is really hot. Sex was probably really good, right? Um, but again, you, I feel like the feminine energy was carrying it all. It was like a burden. The situation was a burden because this person was inconsistent. And, um, but this was somebody that you either had a long-term commitment with, Ten of Pentacles, or somebody you wanted to have a long-term commitment with, okay? And settle down with. But it was too much. Even though the chemistry is intense, there's a lot of lust, a lot of passion, a lot of, you know, sex must have been great, you know? There's a, a lot, of, there's a strong magnetic pull, magnetic connection. It could be dealing with a twin flame. Um, but yeah. Here it is. Here it is. Transformation for. So yeah, two. You could both of you guys could be feeling this loss right now, right? Um, but I feel like the feminine energy has really grown and evolved from this situation. Learned the lesson that needed to be learned. Closed the cycle out completely. Moved on, right? And, the, and now the masculine is going through going through what the feminine probably went through before in the beginning of this ending, okay? Transformation, which is the death card. Words must have been exchanged, triggering communication must have happened, must have came in, and then the situation was put on pause, right? Um, the situation, this is the awakening card, the suspension. It's on pause. So the suspension, it comes in with Pisces energy here. I don't know if that's significant to any one of you guys. Um, and air energy. So we got a lot of people here, okay? Knights, kings, queens, empress, you know. So it's like there's a, there's a lot of exchange of energy here. So, um, so communication wants to come in here. Or, or this communication came in and the situation was put on a pause, right? Somebody said what they needed to say, and then boom, silence, pause for the awakening to take place. Trust the pause, trust the detours, okay? So the hanged man in other decks is hanging upside down with a halo around his head, which is about seeing the situation from a different perspective, but it's also about um, light bulb moment, aha, awakening, boom, crown chakra busted wide open, right? Getting downloads, channel messages, information, and, um, and it takes time. This is like pause for, 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 uh, this is the universe is actually the, because the hanged man is a major arcana. So the universe actually is the one that puts you in suspension. Okay. <laughs> the universe is the one that, that intervened here and put the whole thing on pause so that people can see the situation from a different perspective to awaken to the truth of what the situation is. Okay. So somebody has gone through this pause and during this pause here, somebody has gone through some kind of awakening. Okay. Here. And now they want to rush in and communicate something here. And it's going to be truthful communication, but it's it's very, with this energy here, I'm feeling like a desperation energy. With this energy here, I feel like it's going to be impulsive. It's going to be impulsive. I feel like it's a burden for this person, whoever it is that wants to come in here. It's a burden for this person that, uh, you know, to hold back any any longer it's like it's becoming harder this person he looks like he's getting ready to jump off his throne here you know they want the situation to change a turning point yeah it could be dealing with an aquarius or any of the four fixed signs taurus leo aquarius or scorpio here there's been silence between you guys secret silence mystery here but i feel like intuitively you know this is some kind of a wish that you wish for this person is your wish or or this person wished for you okay but um somebody is starting to after this awakening and somebody's starting to see things clearly they're starting to feel more hopeful you know towards um a reconciliation and a reunion here and they're getting ready to take a leap of faith Wowzers. Crown chakra here for Capricorn spirit. Crown chakra. Clar clarify crown chakra for Capricorn. Yeah. <clears throat> we got the page of swords in, re in reverse here, which is about, um, first of all, 
there is definitely a crown chakra awakening here with the sun card leo energy probably there's going to be some communication here around leo season but uh movement around leo season <clears throat> eight right isn't that august so august could be august eight eight days eight weeks could be that right um but there's per the, the crown chakra situation here, the page of swords in reverse is the spy card, is the student card, the researcher, right? The apprentice trying to gather information here. But I feel like there is there's still the information is trying to come in through the crown chakra, but I feel like there's somebody here that still doesn't get it. Like there's still that's why there's time. There's still more time because this person is still going through an awakening here, right? With the page of swords in reverse, it's like there is no communication because of this awakening. There's some kind of understanding that someone here needs to have, okay? That's why the page of swords is here. There's a learning. There's something that this person needs to learn. Again, this is about seeing... But get gathering information to be able to see a situation from a different perspective right with the page of swords in reverse it's like there's this is still a work in progress this person is has not quite doesn't quite get it yet right doesn't quite get it yet but that's why there's still a, a little bit of time it's still <laughs> we're still hanging in there we're still in suspension there's still a pause Right, because the universe is really trying to, with the solar storms and the serious energy that we're in right now, um, with, with all the everything that's going on with the Mars and and Venus, um, with the Mars and Venus in uh, conjunct right now, with the integration of the masculine and feminine energy here, this person is still in the process of integrating the yin and the yang, right, and um, and coming coming to terms with their truth about what makes them really happy their ten of cups what well, who is their ten of cups what is a ten of cups what does that mean to them family love complete and total emotional fulfillment happiness solar plexus energy here right so we went from somebody that had a complete and total um um sacral which is uh five of cups right sacral and solar plexus completely overactive right not balanced over not blocked but overactive it's either underactive or overactive right um with their ego being out of control you know arrogance ego cockiness to which led to a lot of you know loss and regret and things like that right this person right here can can it's a, he's a player period he 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 is for show he he pretends right he wears a mask he's one of those guys that like uh acts like he has he's big shit out in the world you know drives that nice car dresses good smells good you know looks good clothes nice and good you know um meanwhile inside he's re he 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 does he doesn't he's insecure he doesn't really you know he's really a knight right inside he doesn't really feel that way about himself which is why he overcompensates right um, he does the most, the most extra lotion, you know, all that, like, <laughs> you know, so, so, and I feel like the mask came off because of some, because I guess the player fell in love or something. He, there's something that, that, that happened, you know, that woke this person up here. And it was the, ma uh, the intensity of the magnetic connection that, you have with him or he has with you okay so um yeah so a lot beautiful energy of awakening here and then there's going to be a momentum and energy movement here okay what can you tell me about this person could also be watching you in your abundance grow and flourish here and learning from you being inspired by you right this is two people that can really learn from each other when they're in their higher self and inspire each other and drive each other right um challenge each other push each other inspire each other each other's muses even why is this page of swords in reverse here for crown chakra because this person wants to reach out here 
with an emotional, sincere offer of love and apology. They want a, a, a steady, a new beginning here with you, okay? There, and it looks to, and that's the download that they're getting from their crown chakra. That's the message that the channeled message that they're getting, right? They're understanding things. They're starting to understand things a little bit different. And they want to take action. I feel like this person may struggle to communicate also. Might be a little bit immature in their communication. Very childlike. Not knowing how to communicate intellectually even. Right? Crown chakra. Page of swords in reverse. This person may even be a little emotionally manipulative. Emotionally immature because of the pages energy, okay? Again, pretender. But again, these things, the, with, with the spiritual awakening card, the pages always comes out after like a death and a rebirth because it's like beginner's mind and it's like putting your toes in the water. You know, it's like coming out of the cocoon, the chrysalis, rising from the ashes as the phoenix and you're having, it's like starting over from the beginning you know relearning everything right and when we it's a student you're you're back to being a student again you know you're you're you you learn to learn, learn to relearn right and it's like the page of, of of cups i feel like a lot of times i feel like it's a start it's it's how it's it's a, it's a, taking that baby step forward right and i feel like once this person does that communicates whatever it is that's on their mind here um, that's when things are going to start to move fast, right? Things are going to start to, this ace of pentacles just keeps showing up all the time. Fertility here for Capricorn spirit. Fertility. The magician. So, this is a um, beautiful energy of manifestation and growth and knowing that you have all of the tools right to create here but be careful with this energy because um the magician can be a little trickery manipulative right um it's knowing how to use your gifts and your resources and your powers wisely to create in your life okay abundance so um heavy, heavily manifestation energy here of starting new with somebody and um coming together Coming into union. B new beginning. Reconnecting with a very strong soulmate. Heavy Gemin Gemini here. Okay? And Vir the, uh, the magician is Virgo and Gemini. The uh, 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 This is Gemini and this is Aries and Aquarius. Okay? So, um, and then Pisces. Oh, Pisces and Aquarius here. The high priestess. Okay? And, and Aquarius. So, Following your intuition, connecting to the divine. There's a lot of major arcanas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So far. Eight with the temperance card. So major life changes here if somebody would stop resisting it, right? Because it's it's a, it's at the bottom of the deck. So it's at the bottom of the deck is a subconscious energy. So it's still bubbling beneath the surface, these changes. But um, there's a lot of thinking about it with the Magician card and action needs to be taken in the physical world. The Magician card is about co-creation as above, so below, as within, so without, right? It's about taking all the tools, stepping into your power and um, taking all the thoughts, taking it out of the dream state and taking action in the physical and the material world. Okay, to making things happen here. Okay, also it's Mer the magician is a Mercury ruled card, so Mercury is about communication. So um, somebody wants to come talk, and they're gonna pull out all the stops to try to get to you. Is what I'm getting with with the uh, with all the with the cups here that represents emotion and feeling, which is sacral chakra. We have the wand, which is solar plexus for fire, right? Which is the action and the passion. There is the um, pentacle here for earth, physical world, human body, human experience, right? Having all the, all the material, earthly resources you need to make something happen here, right? And then the sword is heart, speaking from the heart, speaking your truth clearly with kindness and with love, right? 
So there is heart chakra that needs to be, uh, um, so this is, that's what I said. Like this person has the feelings here, has the wands, has the feelings, right? Um, but missing the whole, like speaking from the heart with the page of swords, this person wants to speak from the heart, but this person is struggling with, with, with it, with communicating it and honesty even, right? So, um, it's like there's still a lot of growing that this individual, whoever this is, is in the process of still doing. I feel like it's not quite ready yet, okay? Not quite ready yet, um, but I feel like it, it's the possibility, the predicted channeled message of the possibility of it being, of things starting to move forward here, um, for it being like around Leo season in August is very strong, very strong with the eight of wands here. It really depends on what you believe in, okay? What you feel, what you think, what you put out into the universe, it really depends on that. It really depends on um, the vibration that you're sending off. The magician, you're manifesting with your with every single one of your chakras from the from upper to lower you're manifesting from there so make sure you clear your chakras i do post um, a meditation in the description box below make sure you clear your chakras um especially you know um you know you want to clear all of these chakras here right the uh, chakra all all of them so you can be in balance and can be completely in alignment with what you're trying to create here it really depends on you how this is going to turn out because you're the creator of your own reality the magician what you think what you feel, what you believe, right? With thoughts, your actions, what you're creating, that's all you creating it, okay? So if you're gonna have, uh, you, might, you, wanna, you might wanna rest, stop doing the most, put the burdens down here, you know? Um, it might not even be your energy that you're carrying. This is like the energy carrying the weight of the world. She's extremely magnetic. So she attracts everything into her, right? So you're probably attracting in energy that's not even yours. Or just working too much, overworking. You need to take time out. You need to take a break. Pay attention to the wisdom of your body, right? Your body's probably real tired and um, hurting everywhere. Back. Physi move your body. Physical activity is important right now. Um, yeah. So you're responsible for how, you know, you're responsible for this new beginning. It's about you taking action, taking the leap of faith, okay, towards your goals and your dreams, right? Um, knowing when it's time to, to do, f balancing out the masculine and the feminine energy here, knowing when it's time to work, when it's time to take action, and be sure to ask for help um, if you need help, right? Uh, don't let your pride and your ego and controlling energy here, she can be very controlling, right, to, um, to stop you from... from asking for help all right so this reading was kind of i don't know really how to describe it so hopefully this resonated for some of you guys um let's see i'm gonna pull a message from the monology deck and then um what you need to surrender and then um from the romance angels okay and then we'll wrap it up spirit for capricorn what god has to have for capricorn so you guys are like smack in the middle of a transformation right now. And you got to really um, stop stop pushing so hard for it resisting. When you try to control and force something to happen before it's time, you're in resistance energy. You're chasing energy too, which means it's going to just run from you in the other direction. You got to really trust the pause. You're going through a major transformation, rising as the phoenix here, awakening to your gifts and to your power. So I feel like there's a, there's a lot of energy here. I don't, for being, you know, um, an earth sign, I don't see a lot of pentacles. So, I'm, and that's stop, that's slow down energy, right? That's, you know, coming back to center, coming, coming back to the physical world. Okay, that's, that's coming back into your physical body. So I'm getting an energy that for a lot of you guys, you guys need to ground your energy, okay? Um, slow down, slow down. You're going through a transformation here. It's not time for all the, all, doing the most. It's not time for all of this right now. It's time for you to just take a pause, take a break, right? Put the stuff down here, okay? 
So you can actually get the downloads, get the information, you know, get the get the uh, activations, the integration to take place, okay? If this isn't you, then this is this other person that needs to, you know, to slow down. I feel like maybe they, there's mirroring energy here, mirroring. Probably, like I said, this what you're feeling is probably not yours because, you know, we got both the, the king and the queen of the same suit here, okay? So, um... Somebody's manifesting you, your manifest growth, manifesting growth, manifesting a new beginning, manifesting union. Don't over manifest. At some point, you got to surrender and let it go. Let the universe. Yeah, look at that Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. There's a lot of hard work here, but you got to really learn how to take a break, right? Look, Aries energy, time for action. Somebody wants to take action real bad. They're in a hurry. It's like desperation. They're like, they can't take it anymore here. You know, but it's what you got to be careful with this energy. No pentacles. So no like thought process behind it. This is impulsive. That's why spirit said pause before you do anything impulsive, you know, here, because there's a huge change that's taking place on a deep soul, cellular and soul level spirit. That's why the page of swords is in reverse. This person is not ready. So, <laughs> It's not going to uh, end up the way they, that he, this person wants it. Spirit. Guidance here for Capricorn. A new romantic cycle begins. Guidance for Capricorn. You're very close to achieving your goal. Very close. It's very close. Like I said, August. It's looking like August here. Or Libra season. Okay? Okay. Um, and it could be, it, Libra could be significant here the, because of the Empress energy, Venus energy, all right? So a new romantic cycle is absolutely beginning here. Somebody wants to offer some kind of love, you know, and, um, and, and you're, somebody's just very close to taking action, okay? But I would, um, I would be careful because it seems like this person might unload something on you like transfer their burdens onto you or something like that i just heard it's like coming towards you with all of this what meanwhile you just have one wand you're doing just fine you're standing looking good feeling good in your in your beautiful magnetic attractive abundant energy here of confidence and it's like no a spirit is going to protect you from this this isn't going to happen this, this person cannot come unload all this shit on, onto you. The energy is gaining momentum. Yes, it is. That's this card here. Eight of Wands. Fast, incoming. Energy. Like, whoo! Somebody's going to feel this rush of energy of needing to take action and wanting to take action. If it's regarding your goals, your dreams, your creative endeavors, your passion projects, your career, yes. Jump on that, right? But, um... I would really look out for any red flags, okay, of anybody coming towards you like this, rushing, impulsive, now, now, now energy, okay? Um, I would be careful with that. What else here, spirit? Love bombing you is what I got. The answers you need are coming. Communication is key, right? Full moon and Gemini. So there's Gemini energy here, Mercury energy of communication. Lots of swords, they're definitely going to get something is going to be revealed to you. Maybe something that's going to be revealed to you is going to give you some kind of aha moment. So whatever is going to be revealed here to you is going to create some kind of change, some kind of transformation within you or vice versa. Spirit is saying just surrender to the divine. There's still things that needs to be released here. Yeah, the old cycle. Still carrying the baggage around or something here. All right, so what do you need to surrender, Capricorn? Capricorn, what do you need to surrender? Capricorn, what do you need to surrender? Capricorn, what do you need to surrender? I'm speaking loudly because I don't have a microphone and I'm using the iPad and I don't know how low it, it is. So if you guys can lower your volume if it, if it bothers you guys. Spirit, Capricorn, what do they need to surrender? What does Capricorn need to surrender? 
Surrender obsessive thinking. If you're, if you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help to bring you clarity or even solve the problem. That's crown chakra energy. Crown chakra needs to be cleared. So, um, so that, again, grounding. I, I, like I said, I didn't see any grounding. This obsessive thinking is what's create is going to create some kind of impulsive action to be taken before the timing is right here. So um, it's okay, right? It's okay. Everything happens the way, the way it's supposed to in divine perfect time in divine perfect quarter. Maybe maybe this action is supposed to be taken for somebody to go through some kind of awakening here, right? For some kind of answers to be revealed here. Something's about to be revealed for sure. What else here? Spirit. It's going to be fast incoming communication back and forth or even travel to some of you guys. What else does Capricorn need to surrender? Surrender your fear of change. There's a lot. There's some resistance here. Like I said, when it comes to silence needs to happen resting needs to happen for a transformation to take place for change transformation means change for change to take place right for the wheel of fortune to turn i don't know where i saw that i saw that somewhere um um for this growth to happen it also is going to require coming out of a comfort zone okay so um somebody well it's you this is your reading but there's a fear here of the coming out of the the <laughs> the status quo, right? The the mundane, the routine, the practicality, the 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 stuff that you're comfortable with. There's something more on the horizon here for you, you know. Um, but it's like you're comfortable where you are, but there's something, a feeling inside of you, all with all this fire energy that is pulling you for more, for bigger and better, for something new, right? You know, so because you're getting ready, you're closing out a cycle, you're going through an awakening, you're going through a transformation, you're rediscovering yourself, right? Reinventing yourself. So now with the magician card, it being a card of co-creation, it's going to be time to take action soon. A lot, a lot of action card here coming out of a period of stagnation. And when the momentum comes, spirit is saying, Surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death. Repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. And then we have surrender to joy. Happiness is yours if you choose it, right? It is a choice. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling during both the hard and the easy times. Keep surrendering to more joy. All right. What guidance here do you have for Capricorn regarding love spirit? Guidance here for Capricorn. Guidance for Capricorn regarding love. Capricorn. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Exactly. This energy here will is very tempting. This on um, King of Wands and Knight of Wands energy. And even the Queen of Wands, if you're a masculine. It's very tempting, okay? But um, this looks to me like if you're a masculine watching this, then you have a queen that comes with a lot of baggage, okay? A lot of shit that she, that she comes with. But if you're a feminine watching this, you're, 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 you're talking to a king here that, um, that is inconsistent, right? Maybe thinking with a diff the, other, the other head instead of the crown chakra, right? Um, and so, uh, you know, we really got to look at here where we are with our sense of self-worth, our dignity, our self-respect, our self-love, right? When you are in the energy of true self-love, I am worthy and deserving of healthy, unconditional love, right? That's what you start to attract into you, okay? So heart-to-heart um, -heart conversation. Somebody wants to come and apologize. 
for being in and out, for not seeing your worth, Empress energy. That's why I put this here, love yourself first. This is Empress energy, divine feminine energy, right? So um, not letting anyone come in and manipulate you, trick you, lie to you, you know, things like that. True love at the bottom of the deck. What guidance do you have for Capricorn regarding love? It is safe for you to love. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. If you are in the energy of love yourself first and you are in the Empress energy, right? It's going to be safe because now you learned your lessons from the past. You are awakened to the truth. You transformed yourself. Right, you're not going to sell yourself short anymore, right? So there is a fear here of love, perhaps, of, you know, a new romance. There's a new cycle beginning in love here. After everything you went through, after everything that you learned, that you woke up, you, know, you woke up. <laughs> now you can trust yourself, right? And you can trust that you are attracting in somebody that knows your worth and knows your value, right, as the empress here or emperor okay let's see and stay optimistic you got to think positive if you're gonna think so much think affirmations think positive thoughts right think good thoughts positive thinking and faith will bring you romance choose your thoughts what else here for capricorn spirit worth waiting for divine timing is at work is at work in your love life. Yeah, this is this after this period of stagnation and pause for awakening, for separation, for elevation and transformation, right? So after this pause, there is definitely going to be uh, movement, okay? Here, and um, it's going it's worth the wait. It's worth not settling for less than what you deserve here. All right, you guys. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading and um, reach out to me if you guys would like you know, your own person or reading. If you guys would like additional clarification, if this is hitting home here. Okay. Thank you guys so much. I'm sending you so much love, so much light, so much healing energies. Okay. And prayers. God bless you all so much. And namaste. Mwah, much love.